And I even replied, I was like, oh yeah, thank you so much. You know, I love fan arts. I usually keep them. And she's like, yeah, yeah, uh, I'm not done yet. This is a video. It was a 20 second video. And I saw something holding the thumb. And I was moving up and down, up and down. I was like, oh, it's not a thumb. No, it was not a thumb. It's just... Hey all, welcome back to another episode of Let's Check It Out. Today we have a special guest, Koyit. She's a celebrity actress and also social media influencer. <laughs> and also a friend that I always seen her on events. And Yeah, I always see her on events, but we don't get to like sit down and talk like this, right? Yeah, so welcome. Thank you. Today we're going to talk about deep secrets. Deep secrets. I'm scared, man. Let's check it out. Oh, I didn't know this until I saw this. Yes. <laughs> you became a child actor when you were five years old. Yeah, I was I was a child actress since I was five. I was scouted. You were scouted? Actually. Yeah. So what happened was I always had stage fright. Even now, right? Talking to you guys, my fingers, my hands are sweaty. Uh, you probably got used to it already. No, I, still, I, I cannot. Yeah, I get nervous until like a certain extent, like maybe 30 minutes into the show, and I'll be like, oh, okay, I can talk. But I got so used to it, now I can pretend in front of the camera that yeah, I'm okay. You're okay. Yeah, but when I was younger, I had, I think I'm more of an introvert. Mm -hmm. I can switch on and work and talk and it's okay. But since young, I was always an introvert. So my parents, I had stage fright. So my parents mm. brought me to this like training center where you oh, are asked cute. to go on stage yeah. and then you pose, you know, you wear uh, different outfits and then yeah. it's like kids modeling show thing. Oh, there cute. was a training for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still remember I was with Amelia. Amelia Henderson. Oh. I knew her from back then. Okay, yeah. So, so we used to go on stage like, together. Like, kids, like kids modeling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At that time, I was not very, I mean, Is we the were the same height. Is training this or not? No, I don't think so. <laughs> so I was like the cute Chinese girl. She's oh, the Pan-Asian girl. Oh, so we okay. used to go on stage a lot. That's so cute. And I was scouted then to star in TV commercials because I always had dimples. Oh, yeah. I yeah, had yeah. like a straight fringe, typical Chinese looking girl. And then from then, people asked me, hey, you, you, do you want to act? And then my mom at that time, she was like, yeah, sure, go on, go. I you loved just try it, it then. Yeah, oh. I loved it then because we never had the concept about money. Yes, so we get yes. paid, right? But they always gave me, the producers, directors always gave me like dollhouses. Oh, cute. Uh, little uh, Barbies that my, I don't have at home. So I loved it. I loved it because I get presents. So did you like grow up thinking, okay, I really want to like pursue acting? Becoming, acting and no. Pursue, no, 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 never. I remember telling my parents that, oh, I wanted to be an actress in the future. Mm. But they were never very supportive about the idea of being an actress as a career, but they were okay with me going to have fun. But I need to show my results. Like, my oh. school results had to be good. I can only act during uh, school holidays and stuff like that. You're such a good kid. My mom would love this kind of for me. For me, <laughs> I, I, a good kid? Am I, I a good kid? I don't know. Yeah, you are. Because like, you still like, you know, you study hard and then you show them this and then you do your thing that you like. Yeah, they were strict. They were strict lah? Yeah. Okay. They were like, I don't care. You have you, to do it. You have to do it. Do you remember like what is your first commercial or your first? My first TV commercial was Danun Biscuit. Oh my goodness, I still remember the, the tagline. It's like Danun Fenshang Jin Kang Wei Yi Tian something like that. Like you eat a biscuit and you then you go like, mm, so good. So that role was not mine actually. They oh, okay. hired someone else. A girl, if I'm not mistaken, Pan Asian, Ang Mo mixed Chinese girl. Mm. Like, very pretty. But they asked her to eat so much biscuits and ask her to do so many times that she didn't she like cried. it and oh. she cried. Oh. So I remember we were all in Ipoh. I remember this clearly because my mom also told me the story. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's the story. They called my parents and said, hi, I need your daughter to come in. Does your daughter like to eat biscuits? <laughs> No, I auditioned for it. Oh, okay. I, I, normal. Like, yeah. when you audition, you don't actually eat biscuits. Yeah, yeah. So, they wouldn't know as well. Yeah, yeah. My parents drew, drove me to KL and then just went for it. And I had to speak Mandarin and English. Oh. And then I did. I managed to. And I just loved it. How, how old were you? I was five. Five oh, something. So five cute, and a half. remember. So, I did this uh, TV commercial show. Mm -hmm. Also for a biscuit. Mm -hmm. So I auditioned for the role. Like. So the mm -hmm. role was a DJ. The main role is a DJ. So okay. I went there and I, I didn't get the role. I got like the side role. Like. 
Okay. And then I went for a, like a 24 hour shoot. Okay. And I never seen me in that whole commercial. So you were I was a... so psyched. I knew you cannot find me. But it was you, like a but one. It was a 24 hour shoot. It was a 24 hour shoot. It's so not worth and it. And I get paid like, I don't know how much, like 150 bucks. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. It's so not it's so worth it. It's like so funny. It's so not worth it. But I became a DJ in real life. Okay. okay. So, yes. yeah. You know, as a kid, mm -hmm. you don't really judge yourself as much. You don't care what people say. I think it's somewhere until preteens or teenagers yeah, yeah, yeah. when people so say conscious. things. Yeah. You are more self-aware. But as a kid, I didn't care. I didn't. I thought I was the prettiest girl in the room. I thought I was the most confident, the best. Because... You are the star of the show, yeah, right? Yeah. So growing up, I was a happy kid. I always thought that I was amazing. I think it was only during teenage years when people say things like, yo, you're not very pretty, you're not very short, right. you're not very yeah. good. That was when I felt like I don't deserve to be where I was. Oh, that's... Yeah. For me, mm -hmm. I was a fat kid. You? Yeah. I mean, fat? I was like, How? Yeah, I was, what, your like, hair? Fat. No, like really fat. So okay. I wasn't like really the center of attention. I was like at the back, you know, like when kids like in, in the classroom, right? You just put like the tall and like the big size people at okay. the back. So I was okay. at the back. So no one really cared about me. So okay. I never really was part of like this. I was okay. being ignored. I wasn't a fat kid, but I didn't get the attention in school that I got outside. So uh. I would, I don't know, Kiasu Chinese girl, I would be like, me, you know, because um, I always thought I was so great outside yeah. that back in school, I have to be equally as... Oh. as, as so you're very as, competitive. I'm not competitive, but I always thought, you know, if you have confidence, mm. as a kid, I had a lot of confidence. And if you have confidence, you feel like, okay, I can do it. Why, why not, right? So I would go for everything in school. I would raise up my hand. I would uh, volunteer for everything. That was me. That but because you. of that, that kid. <laughs> yeah, I'm that kid. Oh my goodness. You're that kid. <laughs> yeah, I'm that kid. Yeah. But because of that, a lot of people didn't like me in school. Ah, yeah. yeah. So you were the kid that you you wanted to stand at the back. Yeah, I stood at the yeah. back. Because <laughs> when I was 13, I was tall. No, I was tall until I was 13 and I stopped growing. Ah. So I was this height when I was 13. Oh, okay. No kidding. Really. I stood at the back. And then uh, in uh, secondary school, I started moving to the front. But I were you still acting like during like, your whole childhood? I was acting right? throughout. Throughout. Yeah. I won't say that I was the best kid. Of course, I hate at part times. Times like that, I still, I also didn't want to go to school. Mm. I remember when I was 15, I did one of my, my first movie. And I remember the next day, there was a PMR trial exam. Mm -hmm. My mom, I finished shooting, went home. My mom sat next to me. You get straight A's. That's the only thing I want. I, I did get straight A's. But, but no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. I knew it. <laughs> no, but my no. mom actually sat next to me with a cane. And I told her I haven't studied yet. I don't want to go for exams tomorrow. Yeah. She would sit next to me and she would say, I don't care. You study. Even if you fail, you go for class tomorrow. You go and sit for the exam yeah. tomorrow. I think it's because of that, it makes me not want to give up even though I'm not doing very yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's really nice. It's like Tito Dao, your proudest moment. Was it my proudest show, show. right? Yeah. Mm. Because you got so much like international... I don't think Tito Dao specifically was my proudest show. I was proud of every show that mm -hmm. I did. But when I won the award in Busan, that was sort of like, okay, despite what other people say that, oh, I'm not good, I'm not pretty, I'm not this, I'm not that. I get the recognition that mm. I need. Like, I, I'm i okay. I'm, I'm, people think that I can act. So, that's, that's good. Yeah, you got an award for that. Yeah, I got an yeah. award for it. I think it's that crazy. was more of a, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't a recognition. It was more like a, a stamp of approval for me mm. that I am on the right path. Because... I studied as a lawyer. My parents never wanted me to be yeah, an actor. Yeah. I always thought I was going to be a dentist or a lawyer or something else. Social media aside, mm -hmm. that social media was because of my acting career. Yep. Because when I was a kid, if you did well as an actress, you are good. That's mm -hmm. it. I'm going to hire you. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. now people hire you because you have this number of following. Because yes. at the end of the day, acting industry, entertainment industry is a business. Yeah. right? And I get it. And I understand it. So I put a lot of effort into honing my, the, trying to build my social media because of my acting career. But 
having an acting career means that you have to give up Mm-mm. law. You have to give up uh, doing having a normal life. Yes, yes. Which I absolutely love because I do enjoy my privacy. Yes. I think all these sacrifices made me feel like made me ask myself if it's worth it or not. Recently, I I saw you blew up. Oh yeah. On Instagram. Yeah. With I, all the I, get ready with me videos. I don't even know why. Actually, I did it during COVID. The mm-hmm. reason why I did it, mm-hmm. I, the reason why I started doing outfit videos, not because I thought I was the most fashionable person, mm-hmm. but because I wanted to sell my clothes. And if I don't <laughs> wear it, I'm not okay. I wasn't going to wear it anymore. Yeah, COVID, she's I, honest. At least I she's honest. She was like, I want to sell my clothes. Yeah, I, I just need to, to make sell videos it. for this. Yeah, so yeah. I did that. And people liked it. And mm-hmm. I was trying to figure out TikTok at that time. Yeah. Like the transition. So I did that for a period of time. I had nothing to do at home. So I was like, yay, let's challenge myself to do a 30-day yeah. thing. And I did. And people liked it. I think from then on, it stemmed off to doing more. And then one day, I was so tired of the transition. You know, you throw the clothes on yourself. Yeah, oh my god, that one is so and tiring, then it guys. it changes into something else. I was so tired of that. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to talk to the camera. Which was what I did. So yeah. I just talked to the camera. And people like love hearing it. me people talk love it, yeah. even more. Yeah, easier to edit, yeah. honestly. What's your biggest in- insecurity? My insecurities. Mm. I have to be very honest with you. Mm-mm. I don't like my height. I still don't like my height. Really? I How tall it. are you? Yeah, I'm uh, 158 cm. I'm not even 160. Okay. I tell everyone I'm 162. It's fine. Like since I was a kid. Manchi. I had to like... Everyone asked me, Hey, how all the All the boys, Manchi. all the men. They cheat about I'm what? I'm 165. <laughs> I'm 69. I'm 70. <laughs> Yeah, it's I, boy math, they call it. No, but 168 okay. and 170, it's fine. <laughs> 158 to 160, it means a lot. I remember at one point, it was so famous. You know how you, they say, there's this way you kind of break your legs and then you extend it. Oh, they still have it now. They still have it? They I break like here or something. And yeah, then and then you extend it extend and then you it. can't walk for like six months to have that yeah, 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 extra yeah. two inch yeah. height. Uh, obviously, I didn't do it, but I considered doing it. Oh, damn. Yeah, I... Is it because, like, the comments that you got... I get a lot of... Yeah, I think I get a lot of... If you're not tall enough, you're not this... You... Mm. And stuff like that. Um, Yeah, just not... You can be very... You you can go to events and people don't see you because you're short. I think I am over it now. Uh, I even thought, like, at one point I was very fat. Because everyone said that I was fat. I was just not skinny enough to be in the, you know, the targeted yeah. look as a Chinese actress. Mm. And because of all these, it made me very, very insecure for a very long time. Now I can laugh about like, it. Do you have like anything disorder? Because uh, Okay, at one point, I had bulimia for a bit. <gasps> I talked about it on my in my magazines before, mm. like interviews. And it was because everyone said I was fat. Mm-mm. I love food. Yeah, same. Um, I love it so much. And at one point, I to me, I was like, okay, I like food, uh, but I cannot be fat. So what am I going to do? That was the only way out mm-hmm. at that time. How do you I overcome it? Like, do you just grew up and then you just... I have a very close friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, she sat with me every single day for 21 days. Oh. That after I eat my food, mm-hmm. she would sit there and she would be like, you okay, let's digest talk. this food. Right? She digest it. <laughs> yeah. Talk. And then she would talk to me for three, four hours. Oh, she did that with me for 21 nice. days. And after that, I just didn't care. I gained weight then. Mm-hmm. I was very fat. But then you're after fine. that, it's just, yeah. Yeah, now people say, yo, you're not very pretty, you're fat, you're short. But I use the fact that I'm short to do things that, to achieve and to do things that I can do nowadays. Mm. For an example, the Get Ready With Me videos. I tell people I'm short. So I use my insecurities, my weakness as my my strength. I still think I'm fat to be honest. Okay. Until today. Okay. I'm okay. I'm How okay did with you being, get to that So point? I feel like because I, I love my lifestyle, I, I get to eat what I want. I work out. I mm-hmm. think I'm healthy. Mm-hmm. So that's enough. Like, same like you. When I was mm-hmm. younger, when I was like 15 or 16. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have that. Mm-hmm. Uh, until at one point, I'm like, okay, this is not... Oh no, until I read article about having throat cancer. <laughs> if you peel too much, you get throat cancer. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do this. And then like, risk myself to get throat cancer. 
Okay. So that's that's how it is. I think I, yeah, I, I, like, I realized yeah. that too. A lot of girls talk about bulimia and yeah. and I thought I was the only one who goes through no, it. No, I think a many lot girls. of people, yeah. So it. it's not it's more normal, bulimia you know? than anorexia actually. Yeah. So as long as you you're healthy, you're happy, mm-hmm. that's fine. Mm-hmm. So you don't need to like cause maybe everyone around you is like skinny mm-hmm. and then um and in, if it makes you feel like shit, mm-hmm. you're not in the right circle. Now, now I hang out with friends my height. <laughs> so I'm the tallest in my group, man. I don't want to I don't hang out with you, see? I hang out with people that. like so I'm no, just like that. She's like about my height, you know. Yeah. I always thought of this like if someone come and attack me like, oh mm. you're fat or something, mm. I'm like, if I'm fat and I can do things like that, now imagine you mind skinny. <laughs> don't let me go there. That's good. Yeah. That's, good. That's a good so one. So like, it's good fine, one. you know? Do you encounter any most traumatizing events or like anything in your life because you've been acting you're like in, on social media in Malaysian uh, film and showbiz industry we're actually very clean nothing of whatsoever happened before on the other hand social media uh, yeah very traumatizing thank god now we have like primary general and then um, the hidden the hidden no, the I ones... recently only found the hidden I didn't know like people huh? were sending me message until there, I no, there's like one section and then you scroll the way down, there's hidden. The hidden yeah, I didn't yeah, know the that. hidden, you have to be really careful. They are the spam messages. So, uh. I didn't know there was a hidden. So, it's just like messages that you haven't yeah, opened. Down there, right? And then you scroll the way up, there's hidden, right? Yeah. So, I was like, whoa, I have so many hidden messages. Let's try. So, someone with a... That was traumatizing. Someone with a lady's profile pic- picture and then she's like painting. And she's like, oh, I drew a fan art. You want to see, oh, Koi, I'm a huge fan, blah, blah, blah. Met you at this event and I drew a fan art of you. Do you want to see? I was like, and I even replied. I was like, oh, yeah, thank you so much. You know, I love fan arts. I usually keep them. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not done yet. This is a video. I was like, oh, okay. And you know, sometimes videos, some of it that you haven't really accepted into your primary, if it's in general, the videos are blurry. Yeah, you have yeah, to yeah. click into it, then yeah. only you watch it. I was like, oh, okay, so blurry, clicked into it. And I saw hair, not kidding, hair, like, like that. I was like, eh, probably she was doing a, a transition. Yeah. No, like, you know, phone at the back, like, transition into the, <laughs> I don't know, okay? Transition into the art. And then suddenly I saw a thumb. I was like, hmm? It, it looks something like, like, oh like my God. hair and a, a thumb. Penis. And I was like, eh, so strange. Let me look. It was a 20 second video and I saw something holding the thumb and I was moving up and down, up and down. I was like, oh, it's not a thumb. No, it was not a thumb. It's just buried. The hair was like, you know, lalang, you know, and the thumb was here. I was like, oh my God. The thing I I realised about all these videos is that you cannot screenshot because if you screenshot, they will yeah they, they will, will know. know that you took a screenshot. I was trying to look for another phone to take a picture to like I don't know, send to my family, but I was like twenty seconds of it. I was traumatized. Oh looking at god. it. Oh my god! And the most traumatizing part is like the hair is longer than the thumb. The thumb, guys, is a thumb. Yeah, I didn't know what to say, man. <laughs> I genuinely thought it was a thumb because <laughs> it That's was actually it was the size I, of my I thumb. Have, like similar encounter. So someone texted like, hey, uh, I have this... Was it on WeChat or WhatsApp? It's probably on WhatsApp. Okay. So I have this job on like for blah, blah, blah. I know I got your number from this guy, okay. from this agency. Okay, okay, okay. Um, There's this job that wants... That I can brief you the 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 deck about. Can okay. I give you a call? Okay. And I'm like, oh, okay. Then he just called and then video call. Same thing. <laughs> it, it was a video call. Micro... It's micro, and then like he's just <laughs> rubbing. I'm like, what the fuck? Story post. I block this whole number. It's so weird. Yeah, I block. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand. know how they get my number. That's the thing. I, yeah, I don't understand. Like, I'm send nine, me your bank ten. account. <laughs> I want to see the numbers, not your dick pic. That's it. That's more attractive. Okay. That, that, that <laughs> is very funny. straightforward. That's very straightforward. It's mm. like your, your dick picture is not gonna get me anywhere. That was before I did my Get Ready With Me videos. Because mm. most of them, most of my followers were men. But now, because 70% of them are girls, mm. to be honest, the messages are even more traumatizing. Really? Oh yeah, girls are even meaner than guys. Guys just send you dick pics and say you're not pretty or not cute. Mm. 
girls, oh, they send you like, you are the most unattractive bitch I've never ever seen. I don't know how you put yourself on camera and talk to yourself every single day. You girls watch can it. be... I know, right? I'm still winning. I yeah, got your I know, will. Right? But girls are even meaner than guys. But I won't say that is traumatizing. It's just like, oh my goodness, haters. Yeah, haters. Yeah, but the traumatizing part is what men can do. Yeah. I, I got a few. I got a few. Some some just weird looking, saggy looking things. Oh, like sea cucumber. Ugh. Oh my god. I think you guys can cut this. <laughs> Last one. As an actress, I don't know how that you guys can cry instantly and then the once it's cut, it's like, okay, nothing happened. I think for me, it doesn't, it's not for everyone. Some people, they use method acting, they put themselves in the situation. But for me, it's a combination of trying to feel the character, understanding the character, and muscle memory. I don't know if you experienced this before. You go into a room, right, and you're not very confident, but then you stand up straight, you pull your shoulders back, you're like, hey, suddenly I feel a bit more confident, I can talk to people around you. And it's the same thing with crying. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I have a trick. Yeah, a three-step trick where first you put your position, your body into the position of when you are crying. So when you cry, you try to remember how do you look like? Like your shoulders are slouched, mm -hmm. your head is down, right? Mm -hmm. your, you, you cry like this? I, I rarely cry. Okay. okay. Yeah, you put... <laughs> I cry a lot. Okay. And then I, I try to put my body into a position that it remembers when it cries. So if it's like that, then I do this. And then... Automatically, it will just roll. No. Second oh. step is to try to make your... This is a quick way. Try to make your eyes dry. So when it dries, it hurts and it triggers tear ducts. Mm. So you can try it. And then the third step is to try to put your mind... So body, mind and eyes. Put your mind in a place where it's very uncomfortable. So for an example... Uh, you can try. I usually get to do that in one minute. So you guys can time it if you want. So you put your body in that position. Mm -hmm. And then you look, for an example, I look at... Find a point. Mm -hmm. Look at the point for one minute. And then you start the timer. So for one minute, you don't blink. You don't do anything. You just put your body and mind into a very sad place. For an example, I think just of my time. dog walking out of the house... Um, a car hit my dog and then my dog dies and I go up oh, and I pick my dog up and then I and then tears start flowing and then you start your lines for an example oh I'm so sorry I can't believe you're doing this to me mm. or whatever the line is um, I'm so um, I'm sorry I didn't do my homework it's because my dog died that's it and then you get tears in your eyes then you hold it until you finish the last line and you start crying it's all muscle memory. I'm the worst. <laughs> and then you do like... <laughs> and then you just go... Forward. I can... Say That's the it. most random one thing. One minute. It's less than one minute. I cannot, man. No, because you don't put your mind in that space. You need to put your okay. mind in that space. You can try it. No, seriously, try it. Don't put pressure. Just open your eyes. Don't blink. And don't put pressure. Just look. Your body is not in that that position. How do I cry? Yeah, like that. And then think about why are you so silly? Why you make your eyes hurt? This is ridiculous. You're seriously sitting in front of four people and throwing everything out to a bunch of strangers for what? Life sucks. No? It's drying. <laughs> it's drying. <laughs> it's dry. I feel my contact is coming off. <laughs> like, okay, maybe I should do that. But it's like, it's, I think it's so awesome. it's, it's not that easy, guys. It's not hard. It's this not hard for you. Crying. Been acting for years. No, no. <laughs> crying is the easiest part of being oh, an actress. Yeah, okay. Don't get it wrong. Okay, what's the hardest? Building a character from nothing. So they give you a line, for an example, Jane. Jane is who? I, for an example, you. If mm. I'm acting you in your biopic, right? That's the hardest because I have to build you, you from nothing. Like, yeah. For an example, you take the cup. Why? Why do you drink in this kind of cup? Why white colour? Why this? Why is Chucks Chucks? Why is Mother Chucker Mother Chucker? So I have to build those from Aww. nothing. That is more difficult. On camera, yes. Because visually, people need to know that you're sad yeah. so you need the tears. Yeah. That is just an accessory. Yeah. But your lines and the words, the way you say it, that is what touch people, not your tears.
True. I actually used crying to help me achieve something before. So, uh, girl math. <laughs> girl math. I, I was going to Singapore. Yeah. I had a press conference in the morning. I had to catch my flight. I was not late if I don't check in. But they said my luggage was too heavy. So I had to go and check in my luggage. But I cannot check in my luggage because the check-in yes, time yeah. is past, has passed already. You have to go straight in. So that was what I did. Uh, they said, no, no, you have to buy the next flight. But if I buy the next flight, I'm going to miss my, um, my press conference. So I went up to the counter. Uh, my, my, yeah, uh, the agent was there. The, the, uh, the PA went with me and then I was like, you don't say anything. I went up to the guy. I was like, oh, my grandma's dying. That works. I, if I miss this, I'm never going to see her ever again. How can you do this to me? And then the guy was like, no, no, cannot, cannot, cannot. And then I was like, you start throwing up. Then, no, no, no. <laughs> throwing up. No, and then the girl next, no, sorry, I cried to the guy and then the girl on the next counter said, apa lah, you macam boleh macam ni, let her go, let her go. And I was like, oh. ah, thank you so much, thank you. Walk me, I was like, Okay, I'm done. <laughs> done. That go is in. a good tool, guys. Try yeah. to learn how to cry on the spot. Yeah, you can use Get it in somewhere. airports. Never know. Thank you so much, Koi, for joining us today. I guess we learned a lot, especially how to cry and how to use it. And if you want to be an actress or if you want to be an entrepreneur like Jane, if you want to be a social media influencer, whatever you want to be, I think at the end of the day, know what value you can give to other people. Life is so much more than just social media or being the best. Yeah. Enjoy what you have now. And I think one day you're going to look back and go like, oh, okay, I lived a very good life. I don't need other people's recognition. I think that's the most important. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for having me. Bye. I'm going to get free mask, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I said it. It's on camera. It's on camera, guys. Yeah, yes. Keep us I said it. Yes. <laughs>